What's up guys, Andrew, AKA the Glocktopus here with Glocktopus Reviews. And this week I'm bringing you a review on the Foxtrot Mike Products FM15 Gen 2 rifle. It's got the Zukov stock attached here on the back to where you can shoot this folded or open. If you guys wanna see more cool reviews like this, go ahead and like and subscribe to my pages on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Let's get started. guys we're gonna get into this tabletop review of the Foxtrot Mike Gen 2 FM15 the bufferless rifle uh, this is kind of gonna be a combined review between the 16 inch Zukov rifle and also the 16 inch upper both available from brownells.com uh, we're gonna get into the upper here in a second but let's talk about the Zukov rifle first uh, as you can see here, we've got the 16 inch rifle that's available over at Brownells, like I said. Uh, this is a bufferless rifle. So if you guys know on normal rifles, you have the buffer that goes back into the receiver tube and back into the stock back here into the back. But here on these new FM15 Gen 2s, this is a folding Zukov stock. And as you can see here, this can be fired from a folded position. Um, super super cool ingenuitive design on this guys if you're familiar with the brn 180 that's available over at brownells.com it is the same kind of bufferless system this one is designed differently but it works along the same aspects um, it doesn't require the buffer tube in the spring and the buffer in the back same thing uh, what i'm going to do is take this rifle down for you guys so you can get a closer look on the inside and what the bolt carrier group looks like and what the springs look like and uh, just break it down for you so you can get a better understanding. So we're gonna get this taken apart for you guys. All right guys, now that we've got the lower separated, um, I'm gonna show you how to disassemble this upper. You're going to need a punch. I would recommend getting a punch set if you don't. Uh, don't try using anything else in this little hole. You're going to end up just getting your, felt, your thumb smacked by this spring and plunger that's in here. Like I said, guys, go ahead and get you a good punch set. What you do is you go ahead and push this down on the inside. There's going to be that, uh, it's a plunger on the spring. As long as you get that down and out, it's going to be resting here underneath this cap. So be super careful with that, guys, because that will come flying out and smack you pretty hard. What I do is I hold that down with the other end of the punch, the flat end, while I slide this cap out. Once you do that, it is going to bring the spring and rod out. This is the double spring with the, the rod that the BCG kind of rides on. Since this is a forward charging handle and not a rear charging handle, for you guys to get this BCG out, all you gotta do is pull back here on the forward charging handle. That's gonna bring your BCG to the back of the receiver. Same thing, slide that out just like on a regular bolt carrier group on a rifle. As you can see here, this is built a little differently. Sorry guys, it's a little dirty. I did go shoot this and did not clean it. Um, but this is built just like the front half of a bolt carrier group. Um, you've got the gas key here on top, everything, the bolt here in the front, and it comes apart the same way, just like a regular bolt carrier group. Um, pull your little side pin out here, your firing pin, retainer pin. Firing pin comes out. And let's see if we can get this out. It is a little slippery. This does have one flat side on it, so it is kind of foolproof the way it goes back in, guys. Um, and there's your bolt. Super simple. 
Um, they do make these to very tight tolerances. So when you do get one of these rifles, make sure you put over 200 rounds through it, guys. Um, get this thing nice and broken in. Get those gas rings nice and seated. Uh, always, always make sure you're lubricating these rifles as well. When they come from Foxtrot Mike, they come in a non-corrosive coating. A lot of people think that is lubrication and oil. It is not. It does not come lubricated from the factory. You're going to want to make sure that you take this rifle apart, wipe all that anti-corrosive off, and go ahead and use your brand of lubricant that you use on your rifles. Uh, my choice lubricant is going to be CLP Break Free. Uh, that's made by Safari Land. Uh, super good stuff. It holds up to high temperatures, works well when you're shooting suppressed with all the grit and grime that gets pushed back into your chamber. Just a super nice option. Um, so when we're putting this back together, guys, I'm going to grab a towel right quick and wipe my hands off because this is quite dirty. I apologize. But when putting this back together, super easy. Same thing, guys. Make sure your bolt's extended. Uh, that's going to go back down into the rifle. And then you're going to take this spring and rod, and that's going to go here at the top of the upper. You're going to kind of have to feel around in the gas key of the BCG when you get this rod in there, and it's going to go... Whoa, there we go, guys. Now you've got on video why you have to be careful and hold that rod and spring. It will come jumping out on you. So there we go. We've got that again. Put this right back in to the receiver you take this cap that cap's going to slide into the groove that's here at the top of the receiver i'm trying to get this on camera for you guys so if it's hard seeing this i apologize um, go ahead and take this punch and push that push this down underneath the cap and as soon as you do that you slide this cap up into place and that plunger is going to pop up into the cap super easy guys gets that put back in it's a little bit different than disassembling and putting together your regular ARs but it is is pretty easy um, as far as putting that back together it is the same you've got your takedown and pivot pin on your lower and that's it guys what I do want to show you at this point um, this is the upper that you can snag from brownells.com if you're looking for just the upper when you do purchase just the upper it doesn't come with the optic or uh, this Bravo Company uh, vertical grip or the cloud defensive or the dead air on front just comes with the upper comes with these nice little rail pads here and a birdcage flash hider on the front and then it also comes with a Picatinny adapter that Fox, Foxtrot Mike makes this thing is super neat guys um, I don't know if you're aware there are a couple companies on the market that do make an adapter but this one actually includes a QD point on the bottom super stout it's made out of aluminum and it's got this special nut here that is reverse threaded on the inside that actually threads itself to your lower receiver and is held in place by the detent pin that usually holds the buffer into the buffer tube so it's super nice option um, what i did was i went ahead and got the midwest brand new extruded aluminum stock that they have available that's attached to one of their brace stock adapters that has the 1913 uh, adapter on it and all you do is that pops to the side it's a different option than using this Zukov that comes on the stock rifle I know this Zukov does have adjustability to it and this one does not this is kind of a static uh, uh, static length of pull on your rifle it does come with five QD points though this is a really cool stock you've got one here one on the opposite side two here at the back and then you've got this other one here on the bottom um, I'm going to utilize the QD point that is here on the bottom of the adapter, um, but it does give you tons of options, guys. This Picatinny rail adapter here in the back opens up all kinds of doors for you guys. I've got this on my Aero Precision lower. This is an M4E1. It's the enhanced lower, the built-in trigger guard. You can put this on an Ambi lower, a Radian lower. You can put this on a, a Zev lower, a Mega lower. Any, anything that you guys like, a mil-spec lower, pop that on there. Really is going to open up all kinds of cool doors for this upper, especially if you have an Ambi lower and you can drop that bolt from this side of the lower. Super cool option, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this on here and show you. It goes on just like the Zukov. So you have your upper. 
pots down in there. Got your pivot pin, takedown pin. And that's it, guys. It changes the look of this rifle right away. Really cool option. I've got my cloud defensive uh, rain mounted here on the side. These are also really nice. Since they give you all these M-lock holes here on your handguard, I'm using an Arasaka inline mount for this cloud defensive. Works really well here in their M-lock slots. Um, Foxtrot Mike does include these rail covers here. Super nice option. You can put those anywhere you want with the included M-lock. Uh, the one thing I do have to say about this rifle is there is no QD point here in the front for attaching a sling. I went ahead and I added what's called the Magpul RSA. This is a sling attachment that goes through the Picatinny rail on top. Nice little option. I use my GrovTech Sentry sling. This is a QS2 sling from those guys. Super nice. I can put the front here in that RSA attachment and then the back one can just go, like I said, in this QD point that's in the back that Foxtrot Mike built into their Picatinny adapter. Super, super cool option. I do have to say with these rifles being bufferless guys, it does change the recoil impulse from the weapon. It's very, very similar to the BRN 180. It is not the same. I do have a BRN 180, but when shooting this 16 inch rifle, follow-up shots are really, really easy because it shoots pretty flat. There's not a lot of mass reciprocating here inside of the receiver. So it cuts down on the, the felt recoil. So then in turn, you can do, you can get follow-up shots off a lot quicker and a lot better, or I should say have a lot more accuracy with those follow-up shots on target. Super, super nice option. So again, guys, we've got the 16-inch Zukov rifle from Brownells. When you buy it stock, it comes with the FM15 Gen 2 lower. That'll be attached to this 16-inch upper. But if you want to just get the upper and attach this to any lower that you own, you can go ahead and do that. And you can set it up like I have here with this Midwest Industries extruded aluminum stock on the back. Just, it sets you apart from the crowd, gives you a different looking rifle, guys. Super, super nice. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pack this up and get it down to the range. I'm going to shoot it suppressed and unsuppressed so you can get, guys can see how this runs. Um, the guys over at Fox Truck Might do have a suppressor spring that they offer. I'm not going to be running that in this review, but you can add that to the, the upper here on that spring and rail that I showed you. And that does cut down a little bit on the gassiness of the gun but this gun runs like a workhorse suppressed or unsuppressed. It's actually really, really, really nice to shoot. Let's get this packed up down to the range and you guys can see how this operates. receiver to the center side of the weapon. So it feels really good. Um, I'm gonna put some more rounds down. Now that you've seen me shoot it from the open position, we're going to show you that you can also shoot from the closed position. So we're going to see how it's right in half. This hanging. Put it up around the ring so you guys can see the with the stock holder. To show you how this runs suppressed as well and we'll get to that we get a fresh mat
All right, guys, welcome back from the range. I'm gonna give you my solid review on this rifle. Uh, my rating is going to be a seven out of eight Glocktopus arms, and I'm gonna tell you why. When shooting this rifle suppressed, it is a little gassy. Um, that is inherent to shooting these DI guns suppressed. Um, they are working on a couple things to mitigate the gassiness of this gun. They do have a, su a suppressor spring that's available from Foxtrot Mike that you can throw in here. I've done a little testing with it. It does help with the gassiness a little bit. Um, if you guys are looking for one of those for your rifle, you can contact Foxtrot Mike and I'm sure they can get you hooked up with one. Um, I love that the handguard is super thin on this. Uh, for a thin handguard, it doesn't get really hot up here in the front like a lot of the piston guns do. Um, I like that they give you a simple birdcage flash hider on the front that you can change out to whatever you want. Uh, it's just a nicely built gun overall. Um, the Zukov stock is nice here on the back. Um, it is installed into the lower with a special nut in the back. If you are looking for something different, like I've shown you in the video, to run on the back here instead of this Zukov stock, they do have the 16 inch upper, which is gonna be this same upper here that's available at Brownells, 16 inches. All you have to do is buy that upper, and what they do is include a Picatinny adapter with the upper, which is here on the back. I showed you that in the tabletop. It's got this nice little QD adapter point here on the back. Um, what I did was I went ahead and got the Midwest folding stock. This is going to be their new aluminum extruded stock. Super nice. It comes with the stock adapter on the back. That goes attached right directly to the Foxtrot mic Picatinny adapter that they include with that upper. Super nice guys. It gives you a different option instead of running this Zukov stock. I kind of like this Midwest extruded stock a lot better than the other. Only downside to this is this is not adjustable. Um, it does make your length of pull kind of static. If you're looking for something different that's maybe not gonna affect your eye relief as much, you can go with the adjustable Zukov, or you can go with a different adjustable stock using one of the Midwest uh, brace adapters or stock adapters that they have over there on brownells.com or on midwestindustries.com. Um, super nice option. I love that you can put this Picatinny adapter on any lower that you own, uh, any mil spec lower, I should say. It just opens up the doors for a lot more options on this rifle. So you can check all this stuff out. Like I said, guys, if you're looking to pick it up, click the link in bio. Uh, that's going to take you over to GlocktopusReviews.com. If you scroll down on GlocktopusReviews.com down to the links, you'll be able to see all the links you need to scoop some of this stuff up. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button on Instagram and YouTube. That's going to help me out with the algorithm and get my videos out to more people. If you want to see more cool review videos like this, go ahead and like and subscribe to my pages on Facebook. Instagram and YouTube. On Instagram and YouTube, make sure you're clicking the notification bell. That's the bell icon up in the corner. That'll get all of my newest content over to you as soon as possible. If you guys have any questions or comments about what you've seen today in the video, go ahead and put those down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always guys, stay healthy, stay safe. Check you guys later.